fourth set will be played on Core Hall, Floating Island. Spawning in the top left-hand position as the Red Terran from Wunjin Stars. His first appearance in Pro League, his name is Hanbin. His opponent spawns in the bottom right position of the map. Green Protoss playing for KT Roaster. His name is Puzzle. So they are spawning in the top left bottom right positions where the airplay is a little bit more effective than the Terran side. Which leads me to the question, will we get to see the Stargate from Puzzle this game? Well, first of all, we need to see what Hanbin decides to do in this game because remember, he is a new player. We don't know if his style is going to be macro-oriented or using the Helbus to gain some early advantage and carry that towards the late game. So we still have to wait and see what kind of game he can play in today's match. Yeah, and this also means that Puzzle has to play very reactionary against his opponent. He doesn't know uh, the style from Hanbin, most likely, so he's going to have to kind of Play a little bit maybe more defensive than he normally would and just to very make sure he's on top of his scouting. In fact, what Puzzle needs, Puzzle's mindset right now has to be I'm playing a ladder game against an unknown opponent and all I have to do is play solid and like you say, play reactionary against my opponent Hanbin today. Yeah. Well, Hanbin going for the 12 refinery and 12 racks. So it looks like he really wants to get the gas out very fast for his Reapers here. Could also go for an extremely fast factory should he desire. And this leads me to believe that he is going to be more of an aggressive Terran. Indeed. Puzzle, however, he know, like, like you said, he doesn't know too much about his opponent. That's the reason why he's sending out a probe just to scout his opponent's main base and see what he is doing early in the game. Um, let's see if Puzzle wants to click on that refinery and see how much gas has been uh, mined here. And the refinery, of course, finishes before the racks. Mm -hmm. And the Reaper on the way. Yeah, so Reaper is going to be great for our player Hummin as he can scout around the map using the Reaper and also harass his opponent a little bit early into the game. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see what he's going to follow this up with because, you know, he got the fast gas for a reason. He didn't just want to get the Reaper out and do a little bit of additional scouting. He wants to make something else behind this, whether it be a factory or maybe an additional Reaper, but something I, I am really expecting well, him to make end. Command center first because he is controlling the gas, but remember, Puzzle, he's expecting some, he needs to make sure that he knows what his opponent is doing. That's the reason why the probe is hidden over there, and Hanbin is not going to scout it. I actually like the position of this probe here, and, you know, this could, Puzzle could actually go for, like, you know, an expand into Forgate if he can hide this probe here in the, the back of the mineral line for a long time. That'd be pretty cool for him to do that. Well, it seems like the Reaper is coming back home, maybe checking inside his natural to see if there's any probes over there, but no, it seems like that is not going to be it today, as he only returns to his main base and possibly the third area. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like Hanbin just going to kind of move into more of a standard game here. And uh, Puzzle, on the other hand, nothing has really been revealed from his play yet, so it, you know, it's still a puzzle of what he wants to do here. Bunker in the middle between the two ridges over there, making sure that if there's any bus, he, at least that one bunker can cover two sides at once, but he still doesn't know about the probe hidden at his own natural. Yeah, that's true. So I'm really curious to see if this probe is going to do anything later on in the game. Nope, just scouts and reveals itself. The probe will end up dying here as well to the, the Marines. The Marine goes down. Doesn't really see too much beyond the bunker and the Marines, though. And behind this puzzle, he's grabbing his expansion. He's also walled himself in on both ends, so the Reaper's the only thing that's going to be able to really move in and out until we have access to the medevac tech, or we see Hanbin going through some scans. Well, puzzle opening up with the Stargate, and it seems like this is the popular choice for Protoss players these days, right after taking the expansion. The Reaper does not get a full scout inside the main base as the Stalker and the Mothership Corps is in position to deny the Reaper. Yep, those units just really scaring away the Reaper. And yeah, it does. Uh, oh, wait, I think, yeah, he, it looks like he got the Reaper. Yeah, he mm. got it, man. Yeah, a little surprising. Hamen could have saved that, because it seems like he was being a little bit too risky with the Reaper, and that's what you. That's what happens. You know, the Reaper is a unit where you, you think that you can actually get some scouting information inside the main base, get the probe against your opponent, but if you're a little bit too greedy with the unit, it's going to get picked off easily. And it's better to save the unit and get a perfect scouting later into the game when your opponent is not paying attention against the Reaper. All right, Oracle about to complete here for Puzzle. He's going to send it across the map. There was a scan that went down in Puzzle's main base here, I think that Hongbin did end up seeing the uh, Stargate production. He's got some Marines there at his natural mineral line. 
Nothing being built out of the starport yet, and also not on the reactor. Kind of remaining useless there. Nice, though. Even has widow mine there. Okay, building additional racks behind this as well. So, yeah, Hanman looks pretty pretty safe against any potential Oracle threat. Yeah, nice scan going down. And this Oracle, like you said, is going to be a little bit more utility unit this game rather than harassing unit as he cannot do anything inside the main base. Once he sees the Marines in this position and widow mines, he needs to pull away the Oracle. But remember, He's, the Oracle is slightly out of the range oh. of the Widow Mine, and not a nice micro from Hanbin. He should have drawn that Oracle into the Widow Mine. Yeah, he's got to know about that um, Widow Mine as well at this point here. Well, look at that, killing up the nine work, uh, seven workers and two Marines. What a cost-efficient Oracle. Nice control from Puzzle and Hanbin. You know, he's a new player, so maybe he got a little nervous in the situation, or just figured that okay, the Widow Mine, it's going to defend me. I'll be fine here with only two Marines. But no, that was not the case. Mm -hmm. Now, Hanmin does have a medevac out. He does have a couple of marines, and he needs to utilize this to take out the oracle, or at least make sure that this oracle cannot kill any more SCVs. All right, well, there's a missile turret now at the natural mineral line. Pretty good positioning on that as well. So this oracle probably won't get any kills at the natural unless he comes in on a really weird angle here. And uh, it's like the referee lagging a little bit here, but no, it's fine. No issues there. Mm -hmm. The game is going to resume, but there is a pause... Oh. From the referee. All right, well, let's... Okay, well, did he just resume again as well? No. I'm not sure what's actually happening right now. <laughs> Throwing a curveball at us here, but let's talk about, you know, where the game is heading right now. Mm -hmm. We had the, the medevac. It's got a widow mine in it as well as a single marine, and there's not really too much defense in Puzzle's main base, but he does have the robo, so he can build the observer if he wants, and he also has access to cannons as well if he wants to put them in his mineral line, and he may have actually gone ahead and already done that. Yeah, in fact, I have to say, Puzzle is in a nice position right now after getting up to seven SCV kills. He's well fortified, like you said, well fortified inside the main base. He can play out the game that he wants to right now, and it's up to Hanbin to make something happen. Yeah, I'm also curious to see if Puzzle's going to invest any more Stargate tech into his play here. He can add on a few Phoenix if he wants to try the really just hard shutdown of these drops here. So we're going to find out shortly exactly what happened here. Game is still paused between Hanbin and Puzzle. Score is two to one, with Wundren Stars leading over their opponents. KT Rolster, and of course the map Corhall Floating Island. All right, seems like we are ready to go. All right, We're gonna have an unpause in a second here. Referee doing a little bit of a countdown. There we go. That was a long countdown from the five, but it looks like we're we're pretty much good to go now. All right, game resuming here. We do have a cannon on the way about the finish, and the Oracle just kind of running back into the main base here, trying to pick off a few units here and there, and the Widow Mine actually, okay, it's lost from this position, and nice job, nice control from Puzzle, picking off a few more workers and Marines here. That is how you should use the Oracle. Definitely, yes. He's adding in Phoenixes behind us to make sure that the Medivac cannot get inside the main base. Very nice play. But also, we see these Protoss players just sitting on two bases, going for the Stargate, and always sitting on only 44 probes. This leads me to believe that Puzzle is going to go for the timing attack that Stas and Myungshik was preparing for in the earlier two games today. Stats timing attack worked really well against this Terran opponent. One for the Storm now. Oh, the Oracle in another good position here. Holy crap, up to 18 kills here. And going to escape out of there. 18, but wow. 15 overall workers killed from Puzzle side. This game, it's, it's his, the win here. Yeah. The economic damage has been done, and because of this, Hanmin is focusing on making more SCVs right now. The SCV count is always sitting on 37. As Hanmin, he's being a little bit more greedy, getting a third expansion behind this. Pro the problem is, he's not getting a full scout on his opponent's base right now. He doesn't know that there's no third Nexus going down. He doesn't know that his opponent stopped the product uh, pro production at this point, as he's uh, gathering only on Colossus and Phoenix. Uh, Oracle, very low on health now, in the red. Going to be chased away by the remaining uh, bio forces here from Hanma, but that is a paltry size force here from our Terran player. Puzzle's going to have more than enough to defend against this. I mean, look at the supply difference as well right now 98 to 83. Puzzle with a huge lead over his opponent here. 
I mean, just gearing towards the attack, trying to harass his opponent 11 minutes into the game. The problem is he doesn't have any units to actually make this attack work. In fact, it's Puzzle who is going to win this engagement, and Hamin needs to run away as soon as he sees a Colossus. Yeah, he's putting a scan there, and he sees what's going on. He's like, oh, I'm going to get out of here now. So Puzzle continuing to build Phoenix. He's already up to five now, so he really wants to make this work. And in this situation, I can see Phoenix Colossus working because Puzzle has gotten such an advantage from that Oracle harassment. So that's where I feel like this can work here. But uh, eventually he does need to grab the third base or go for a timing here. His pro production has been completely stopped for a while here. He's still on 44. The Marine's going to eventually fall here as well. There's a double medevac drop, though, that could go to the main base. Puzzle, he's not going to be prepared for the medevac drop. He's going to just try to go for a big attack here. Yeah, he's going to go for the big attack, and Hanmin exactly knows what's happening. The third command center is going to get lifted pretty soon, and these two medevacs need to buy enough time back at the main base. Well, this is going to be a scary position for Puzzle being. He either needs to commit or he needs to run home, and running home may be a good decision here. He's moving back with the Phoenix now. It looks like he wants to at least force a lift off the third. And uh, it looks like he is indeed going to move home here with his the remaining army. And oh, oh the Phoenix, two. though, catching the medevacs out of position, picking them off pretty easily, and then going after the Marines. Very, very good micro control and decision making from Buzzle. He's going to be able to chase away these marauding, mar remaining marauders as well. Essentially, pick off the rest of them as well. And this is the advantage of the Phoenix. If you can kind of force your opponent on the run, you're able to pick off so many additional units. In fact, if you look at the units tab, right now, Hanmin, he only has 10 Marauders and 10 Marines in this main army. He is getting the Vikings out, but the problem is there's up to six, eight Phoenixes out, and his opponent puzzle has up to three Colossus. Three Colossus right now. Moving back, though, the remainder of his forces here. Puzzle not wanting to necessarily attack in this position. He needs to grab his third expansion. There he goes. It's going down. That's what he's going to do here. I would love to see him go for an additional forge as well because he is pretty far behind in upgrades. And look at that puzzle. He hasn't forgotten. He's still got that oracle just kind of chilling over there, uh, waiting to do some damage later on. Maybe, though, in this case, I think it would be good for the revelation ability. Long rally by Puzzle inside the main base. I don't know if you guys actually saw it, but the Colossus was eating away on his own gateway as it gets taken out. <laughs> Did he kill the, the gateway? Well, the Colossus was b stuck between the three gateways, so he needed to destroy something. Ah, uh, okay. Opting to, I guess, kill the gateway is cheaper than getting the Warp Prism. Warp Prism may be a, bit, a little bit more useful later on, though. So now we have the plus one attack with the Phoenix on the way here. He's adding a second Stargate in as well. This engagement not so uh -oh. good for Puzzle, whereas the main bulk of his army is going to lose. The pylon loses a few Stalkers as well here, but still the army looking really good for Puzzle. Yeah. Lacking in upgrades, though, it's just a very strong unit composition, and that's it. Look at this. I'm trying to build some turrets to make sure that the Phoenix cannot do a lot of damage, but now Puzzle can press forward and win the game as long as he has a nice engagement. Remember, the Oracle is still alive and well in the 12 o'clock position. It looks like Puzzle wants to reinforce with a few uh, pro proxy pylons mm. before moving in here for the attack, even bringing the Mothership Core in as well. Additional Stalkers warped and he's going to go for it. The Viking count very low at this point as well. The medevac count not impressive. The SCV is being pulled off the mineral line as well. Time warps going down on this Terran army, and when the medevacs get picked uh, out, the Phoenix are going to just start lifting the entire Terran army. The Colossus in the back, but in the addition of the Stalkers, even there's some Zealots still surviving as well. This Terran army getting completely ratted by the composition of Puzzle. Really nice play by Puzzle throughout the whole game, using the Oracle to make sure his opponent is behind and going for Colossus. Phoenix timing attack G against G his opponents. Puzzle pretty much outplaying his opponent Hanbin there. You know, it was Hanbin's first game in Pro League, so understandable that maybe he made a few mistakes there and was a little bit nervous, but I gotta say, from Puzzle's end, he executed that very well. He executed very well, and he got the confidence boost that he needed before the playoff matches. Indeed, so the score now tied up once again, 2-2 two two between Wounded Stars and KT Roll.